Hi, this is a quick tutorial for Rodex Rate of Return Calculator for iPhone. Uh, this is the Rodex home screen, and uh, the first record is really what you will be clicking often. Uh, the four bottom records are documentation. So let's click on this record, tap on this record, and we're in. We have a list of our portfolios. First time in, no portfolios we have. So we have to create one. Uh, to create one, we have to give it a name. That's basically all that requires to create portfolio. We can create as many portfolios as we want, but for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, that will be only one uh, portfolio, one transaction, one program, and couple uh, calculations. So portfolio ABC is created. We can drill down. Within portfolio ABC, uh, there are three things we can do. We can create transactions, regular programs, and we can create a calculation. So let's start with transactions. Of course, in the beginning, there are no transactions, so we have to create first transaction. Uh, let's say on January 2009, this year, we bring in $10,000. This is the money that we're investing into our portfolio ABC. Record is created, record is saved, record is presented in the list. Okay, one level up, and the portfolio ABC, when I'm dealing with regular contribution programs. Again, no programs yet, so we create the first one. It will be as many as we want, but as I said here, one of each. So the name is given XYZ. Starting month, I don't know, let's start it uh, in December 2008. So starting December 2008 goes forever, so we leave this end month blank. Day of month, I don't know, maybe anything. Uh, on the third of month, every month, we will be bringing $100 in. So record is created, record is saved, record is presented in the list. The name of the program, starting date, uh, goes forever, and how much money we're bringing. So now go back to portfolio ABC, and now let's do the third thing. Let's calculate. So uh, there are no calculations yet. We have to start. Start date, let's say, a year ago from now. End date, well, I don't know. Let's make it today date. So we have a starting date and we have end date. Start value. Start value is zero, so we save it. And end value today, we investing. We invested some money. Let's hope that investment was successful and we got a little bit more money. This is the whole point of investment. So this is a four input parameters. Uh, five input parameters and four calculated value. We tap here to calculate and we receive 13 something percent rate of return. It's because we invested 11,000, uh, 10,000 was our lump sum, and 10 months for this period, 100 uh, bucks a month, so it's another 1,000. So altogether 11,000 invested, growth is 12,000, net is 1,000. So net is 1,000, that gives us a rate of return. Well, let's save this, and this is in our list. Let's play a little bit with values and adjust and see what portfolio can do. Let's say that we were not that lucky with our investment, and we ended with $11,000, with exactly the same amount that uh, we uh, invested. And let's see what happens here. Uh, rate of return is zero, because net is zero, of course. That's what happens. Uh, we get uh, no net, and our rate of return is zero. Now let's play a little bit for the purpose of this tutorial only uh, and say, assume that our end value is even less, 10,500. Let's save it. We have those input parameters. We, hit, we click here to calculate, and we have rate of return minus 7. This is because our net is minus 500, so we get actually a negative rate of return. We can save it, we can cancel it, and uh, we can do as many calculations as we want. We can start new records, uh, new calculations, so we keep them in the database. So it's a very convenient tool, and that's what you have to do if you're investing professionally. You have to measure results and success of your investment and make adjustments. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and thank you very much for watching, and I wish you many, many happy returns and very high uh, rate of returns. Thank you very much. Bye.